Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. So my life has been just super crazy. So um, our ceiling collapsed in the living room and we had to leave the house and stay at a resort and then I started um, this new, let me turn my phone off, well down because it's going to go off the whole time. Um, so I started this new work from home job and that started about about a week ago and it's kind of just been taking over my life um i was going to record my fab fit fun unboxing video today but it didn't show up in the mail today it says it's now going to be delivered tomorrow so i will be recording that tomorrow and getting it up for you hopefully tomorrow um so then i was trying to record um me decluttering my closet because that was my plan for the day but this new um job that i have kind of took over that and i just i haven't had the time to do that so i figured i needed a video up and i wanted to build up my essential oils um playlist so we are going to be talking about essential oils that are great for skincare and that's what we're gonna talk about in this video, so just keep on watching. Okay, so like in the previous video, I have everything written down. It is a lot of names and I just, I can't remember it all. So, what we're gonna talk about is the best oils to use for skincare. And I think I'm going to do a part two to this and kind of show you how to make like face mask and lotions and that kind of stuff. But for right now, we are going over the basics and the oils that are best for your skin type. So the first skin type we're going to start with is normal skin. And for normal skin, the best um, essential oils are cedarwood, clary sage, elemi, and I will have everything written somewhere on the screen because I'm going to butcher some of these names. So, yes. Cedarwood, Clary Sage, Elemy, Frankincense, Geranium, Jasmine, Lavender, Neroli, Palmarosa, Patchouli, Rose, Rosemary, Rosewood, Sandalwood, and Vetiver, I think it's pronounced. Um... But those are for normal skin. Moving on to dry skin. Dry skin, benzoin, bergamot, cedarwood, clary sage, elemi, fennel, frankincense, ger geranium, jasmine, lavender, mirror, I think it is, neroli, pomerosa, patchouli, rose, rosemary, rosewood, sandalwood, and Vitivir. <laughs> um, it's a mouthful. Next, we're moving on to oily skin. So, for oily skin, you could use cedarwood, clary sage, cypress, elemi, frankincense, geranium, jasmine, june, juniper, lemon, neroli, orange, palmarosa, patchouli, peppermine, rosemary, rosewood, sandalwood, tea tree, thyme. Bivetir and Ylang Lang. Um, so I think if you want to start like making things for people, like making body lotions or stuff like that, I would personally suggest once I tell you all, because I still have mature skin and sensitive skin left, but once I read you all of these, I would pick like the most common ones that's in every category. And those would be the oils that I would buy because you know that you're going to be putting them in, you know, every one of your different um, body products for your different skin types. So that is just a hint. Um, mature skin is Elemi, Frankincense, Geranium, I can't even say this one, Halichicarusum, oh boy, Jasmine, Lemon, Mirror, Mirror, I don't know. Neroli, Pomerosa, Rose, Rosemary, Sandalwood, and Vitivir. 
there's that funky word again. Um, and last but not least is sensitive skin. And this one is the shortest of list. And this would be more my list. Um, it's chamomile, frankincense, jasmine, neroli, rose, rosewood, and sandalwood. Something happened with my camera. Where'd you go? There it is. Okay. So, um, like rosewood, rose, sandalwood, jasmine, frankincense, those would probably be like your biggest oils that you would want to purchase just because they fit in every single category. Um, but yeah, those are the best essential oils based on your skin type. So, look forward to part two and I will kind of show you and demonstrate how to make certain um, skincare products. I still need to do a part two for um, my hair care one that I did, like making a hair mask and stuff like that. Um, but I, I didn't know if I really wanted to, to make a video like that because kind of the only thing I'd make is a hair mask and it's not enough for a whole video. I don't know. I will figure it out or you guys can let me know if you want to see that or not. But yeah, so be st blah, blah, blah. So yeah, stay tuned for part two and that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. This channel was on a roll. I was posting every single day for the most part. And then summer hit, stomach bug hit, ceiling fail, fell. I started a new job and it's just, it's been so crazy. But I have not forgot about you. YouTube is still my passion and I will still be uploading at least one video a week. But I would prefer more than one video a week. So just bear with me. I will get a grip on everything. Everything will go back to normal very soon. That is it, you guys. If you haven't subscribed already, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the bell button so you're notified every time that I do upload. And that is it. I love you guys. Bye.